Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cargo Dock, or Let's Build a Container Terminal, something like that. <clears throat> God, my voice is bad to say. So, um, yeah, what we're going to be doing today is the Giganto Cranes, the really, really big kind of um, Panamaxi things. Uh, but first, I wanted to show off this absolutely awesome uh, build. So, Zarius HD, if he could build a container forklift. So, these are like pretty hefty, for like they're called container forklifts, they are pretty hefty. Uh, vehicles and they're able to actually stack um, and lift off containers themselves so that they, they are pretty hardcore um, so Zarius came back like literally pretty quick and actually built this for me and it's absolutely phenomenal so thank you to Z for building this um, he has got a tutorial on his channel for it as well so if you guys want to go and check that out I'll put a link in the description as well as uh, I'll probably comment with the actual tutorial link itself um, I've obviously modded it a little bit with my my mod box like my you know yellow slabs and stuff like that but um, it's just, it's awesome. It's really, really awesome as well as being able to, you know, actually get inside and stuff like that. So, look at that. So, yeah, I've shoved it on the road for now. One thing that I have had to do, because it is ginormous, I've had to extend the roads to seven wide on this main road uh, at the back of these sections. So we, we redesigned those uh, kind of like last episode, or I redesigned it off camera. I'm still building um, <laughs> cargo crates just to fit into them. So... Basically, whenever I start Minecraft or start up this series, I have to, or start up this um, world now, I'm forcing myself to like make a couple of these. I, I did make that one and that one this morning, so I haven't finished that one, obviously, but I will do. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's going to be really, really cool. And actually, I think it works a lot better. So we've got these going across by five, five there, and then this goes to seven. It actually doesn't look bad at all. It actually looks kind of correct. Um, so if we do that more in the city as well, uh, maybe. Um, other thing that I've done is I've now added in like light asphalt and dark asphalt into the mod. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or not though, like uh, in this kind of just random pattern. I think it's 7% uh, like light and 7% dark and then the rest of it is normal. But I don't think I like it. I don't think it looks right as it being splattered around. Um, so I'm going to mess around with it a little bit. I think what we need to do is keep it onto wherever there's like heavy activity. So stuff like down here. Um, flying down, there we go. So stuff like down here, I might have it like as heavy activity and, and have it really, really heavy. Um, whereas like little roads like this, which shouldn't really be used that much, it should be that you drop a container here, it gets picked up by this thing and dropped in. And then, like, from seeing some of the big terminals, there's actually a really good video on the internet. Seeing some of the big terminals, I have two of these, like, this will be really damn long and really quite wide as well. They'll have like automated things that actually pick them up drop them somewhere in the middle and then another one will come along and pick it up and then it will go on to there which will go out uh, either onto the trains or um, into like deeper storage or something like that so it's almost like a pick and drop off uh, site here but um, I still quite like these ones I like the manned ones um, you know Lioness is going to be a bit of an older city she's not not as modern so we've still got people in the, in the city working at these and uh, picking it up and also not as big, but if you guys were going to build one, then that'd be a good idea. Uh, the other thing is that they don't really have roads like this going across the sides of it. They pretty much just have this blocked off, uh, and it's more of a design thing that that's purely to um, well, it, it separates it so you get like three different. Again, this is another video. This is one from one of the videos. They've got like the loading area here, loading and unloading here, which happens on the big crane. You then get the actual bit from this point to that point. So that's uh, either taking. The crates that the big crane has dropped onto the onto the floor, even taking those around here, and the more modern ones have the uh, the like called straddle carriers. Uh, Jag Thunder's got some of his. Uh, Jag Jag commented on the last episode. Uh, no, the episode before that, episode four. This is episode six. So he commented on that episode six, and I completely forgot how much he had actually done on his own world with. Um, with his cargo docks, and he's actually got the straddle carriers. So if you want to see those. I, I absolutely hate the look of them. I totally hate the look of them in real life. But they work. It's one of these things like I just think, oh my god, that looks ugly as hell. But actually, it, it, it works perfectly. So uh, they they literally are built to fit exactly around a, around a container. And they can lift it up. Um, some of them up to, I think, three or four stories. So three or four of these. So they'd actually be able to... So they're pretty tall. So they go all the way around here. They're able to then pick it up and then slot it in. Uh, but they would go through the gaps. So that's why in some of the modern um, shipping places, you will actually see like a gap between every crane, uh, container as well, so that these things can just drive in, pick some up, and go. It's, it's crazy. 
uh, but they have those going from this point, the drop-off point, to here, or also when they're picking them up from here. And usually they do both, um, so they'll time it correctly so that they actually that would drop one off either here or onto the stack. Uh, and then there might be another one that's coming over here to drop down and then they'll be able to pick that up and it, it's crazy. And then the third point that they have is from this side going outwards. So that would be to your lorries. So you'd mainly have your lorries like loading into these bays. Um, they would then go onto there and they'd drive off up country or whatever. Or they might just drive to um, the train station or whatever, the train yard. You'd have attached to it um, and all that kind of stuff. It's just... Yeah, it's quite cool. Or, or deeper storage if for some reason they had to stay here for a little bit longer than, than they might have done. But yeah, it's really, really interesting. Or at least I found it really interesting. Um, so thanks to Jag as well for for, for uh, reminding me that he's done it. He did it like two years ago. <laughs> and he's already got some um, really cool tutorials and everything. Um, what else did I do? Did I change over these? I can't remember if I changed over these in the last episode or the episode before. But I, yeah, I've changed over the the mix to make it a bit more natural. So I've literally just got like concrete, the dark concrete and grey wool uh, for those and the same with the slabs and all that kind of stuff. And for this bit I've got the light grey wool and concrete. So I've just uh, switched those two out. I think that looks better. Again, I'm not sure about the roads, but I really like this bit. So today we're going to be building a, well we're going to be building a big crane. Um, and yeah, that's going to be really fun. Oh, actually, sorry, before we do that, before we get onto that, because I'm going to show you a, a model in SketchUp and stuff, uh, I'm still not sure how I'm going to actually do this video. I think it might just be a really long video. If I, because I know that some people found it really interesting, some people didn't, um, which is why next episode I'll be showing it off just in full. Yeah, so this this angled thing actually was uh, worked out really well. So yeah, I mean you can't really tell that it's angled from from if you're looking at it from the front, can you? It's quite cool. But then you look over here and you get the kind of like angled look. I uh, don't know if I'm going to join up the lines, or I might just keep them as they are. I think it looks alright. But in the end, I went with fours. So one, two, three, four. So when I did the line, it gave me like four, 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 three, four, 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 three, or something like that. Uh, but I just decided to go with these fours. It does mean that it cuts it pretty close to the uh, rocks over here. So I need to might need to cut that back a little bit, but that, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and obviously I still need to put it all down to the rocks as well. So that's going to take a little bit of time, but I th I'm really happy with how that turned out, actually angling it. Uh, didn't look too bad at all, so um don't know how we're going to do the crates and stuff. I might just do like the car park, because I'm going to do a big car park, and that's where you know cars come off uh, off of the, the ships and are actually loaded in that way, so uh, onto a big, big thing. So I might do that over on that side, where we've got a bit of a weird angle, and then we can keep these uh, going straight. Still not sure if we want to as well. Sorry, this is more of a chatting ideas episode. So over here we have the next side of the sea. There we go, it's over there. So it's not too far away. Um, so I've got to think about what I want to do here. Obviously I wanted to, on the plan, have like those circles, uh, circles, the oil type things and all that kind of storage of, of chemicals or whatever it is. Um, so I'm not sure what we want to do with that and, and how we will work that together. It's going to be a bit weird because I do want to have a central building somewhere, um, whether it's further down here or something, but that's going to be like where you get the canteen, you get a rest area, and you also get the staff parking is going to be in there, so they'll be able to drive into work and, and then, you know, grab their vehicles. We also need to do like a, a truck uh, bay thing, like parking, uh, so that, you know, these trucks, oh yeah, everything, I built another one of Zaris's trucks, so I'll, I'll put this in the description as well. Um, Made it yellow as well. It's different, isn't it? So I uh, ended up building this one. So this is another one of Zaris's one. This one's more traditional to to what you might get, the flat-faced ones. But there are even, like, the modern ones. There's completely different trucks again. Um, so yeah, got that. Um, yes, yeah, so we need to do, like, a, a place to park up the trailers. Because, of course, you wouldn't park the trucks with the trailers. You would just have the trucks by themselves somewhere near wherever you know. You'd go grab it, you'd then pick up the trailer. Then you go and do whatever you're going to do. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of getting along plan wise anyway, and I think we're making some good progress So I'll jump on to Google SketchUp now, um, and I'm going to just show you guys What I'm going to be building and credit the guy that made the model and all that kind of stuff um, uh, We're going to be getting on to uh, in a second, so let's do that So here we are on Google SketchUp, so as you guys know Google SketchUp is uh, awesome um, this one is a model by, and I've literally just chosen this one just 
it just looks awesome. It's got it's got some features that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, it's made by a guy called PM Three D. Uh, so it's a super post Panamax container quarry crane, uh, 69 meter outreach on a 35 meter uh, rage gale. Gorge, gouge, gouge. Jesus Christ! I'm not reading properly at the minute. Um, yeah, and it's got this double trolley thing and twin lift, and it's it's interesting. So big, big ups to this guy. Um, yeah, I went through this. Uh, there's a little group here called Container Cranes Worldwide, and that has got so many, so many things. I'm, I'm also going to try and check out this as well because this is, looks quite interesting. So yeah, don't totally like check out, check out this for ideas. Uh, this is it as the actual model. Um, it's a bit laggy, but you're not, you guys aren't going to be seeing too much of the model. Um, you can just grab it if you wanted to for yourself. Since Google Sketchup is free, and you can just like download models for free. Um, I just thought it was really, really nice and uh, detailed. I'm going to do some stuff differently, obviously. So I'm not going to have these as red. I'm going to do it more like probably the colours of... I'm gonna, probably going to do it blue. Um, not this type of blue. Have I got any pictures around this PC yet? Let me have a look. I can't remember. I've got some pictures somewhere. Uh, nope, I need them on Steam. I need them on Steam. All right. See, I should have had this planned, really, shouldn't I? That's fine. All right, where is... No, not Battlefront. I want... Yeah, I've got a few games. Um, <laughs> I want GTA 5. I'll see my screenshots with that. All right, here we go. So the colours I'm thinking of doing this one. I'm trying to go through all the planning part of it now so that we just get it done. Uh, here we go. All right. So, there we go. All right, if we whip through. Oh, yeah, those are blue as well. can't remember. I didn't remember those. All right, okay. So, wherever the GTA one is. Here we go. They've got more of it blue and they've got yellow on the bottom. That's the kind of plan that I'm going to be doing. Of course, it's bigger than the GTA 1, this one. Um, quite a bit bigger as well. But what we've got, yeah, so those are the kind of like colours I'm going to go for. And that's that's why I, I like the GTA 1. I like the blue. I'm not going to go with this stripey thing. I'm not too keen on it. I know that Jag did one with um, stripey things on it. But I'm, I'm not sure about it. I'm just not sure. Um, but the main features that I kind of decided on this one, it's, it's one, it's ginormous. Um, whether we actually have it. Now, this is another thing. We might not actually have it positioned here. We might have it positioned way over there where we get the bigger ships coming in. But I'm going to build it here because all of them should be able to fit on the same rails. Uh, at least in my head in case you know they need to move across and, and fly around the, the side of everything. That, that's my thoughts on it anyway. So we're going to build one here anyway. Uh, we might build other ones at a later date. Um, yeah, so this one's really, really big. It's got this, the Mega Grabber. So it's got these like dual grabbers here and it can do four crates at a time which I think is absolutely insane uh, you've got the little cab up here see this is like why the detail is just awesome uh, and it's also got walkways going over absolutely everything so the detail on the walkways going around here and when you get all these bits is is brilliant it's it's almost exactly what I want I mean even with this bit here where you got the stairway going all the way up to the top um, you don't get that all the time on on uh, outside details I don't know what this shed is for God knows. Uh, I'm guessing it's not something like a power plant of some kind. I don't know because oh, it's the oh, it's the uh, wires. Uh, so it would it would have some motors in it. Sorry, there we go. I've just noticed that. So I need to study this definitely a little bit more. Um, but that's got again walkways going down to here. I don't know why. Maybe it's just to check structural stuff. Um, the other thing it's got though, so it's got those grabbers here, which is on the main. I'm trying to get a good good thing for it. So this this will go forwards and backwards. Uh, these would probably drop down into here. It could could drop down further, but I don't think it would. Uh, it probably drop down onto this bit here. So that's the mid bit here, which is in this bit. Um, but then it's also got another one <laughs> over here. So it's got another little grabby thing in the jiggy over on this side, which can then move from here to here. So it could uh, say, for example, you've got your crates uh, over here. It could be dropping them down here but it could also be picking one up from here and putting it there or going the other way like grabbing these onto wherever it needs to grab them onto it's pretty cool really I think um, it's just different it's just different so we're gonna be building this one uh, we're gonna be using it as a rough guide now it did say that it was 35 so one of the things I've done is I've using the ruler to at all I've got it to as close to 31 as I can well that's not as close as I can is it let's just get it down because you can use the scale tool in this maybe that's gonna be enough we'll see we'll try it anyway there we go try that and uh, we'll see if this is 31 Eek. no it's not at all well we tried <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Maybe I'm just going to, I am going to reduce it, otherwise it's going to annoy me, I think. But this will help me get the scaling almost exact. Uh, it will change. Minecraft, you go bigger. You usually go bigger with Minecraft, and it's just the way that it is. Uh, see, that's still quite big, but that's on that side, so... That'll do for now. Uh, it's 31.72 on that, so we're going to end up uh, yeah, jumping onto this. Uh, I'm going to have this on my other screen for most of the time. So the next bit of the video, um, it's going to take me a long time. It's probably going to be a, an hour or a couple of hours for this video. Um, if you guys don't want to see me building it and me talking about it, it's probably going to be a little bit boring. To be honest, you know, I've got to be honest. Um, but if you don't want to see that, then 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 the next episode I'll be showing it off and walking around it anyway. Um, it's just for those guys that want to know how to do it. And if you wanted a tutorial on it, you can get one by by giving me a shout. Jag Thunder already does have one on one of these anyway, so do check that out as well. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's get started on this. Right, so let's get started on this thing. So I've got um, a mod the model off, obviously, that I've just shown you. I've also got up some pictures from GTA. Um, the other fun fact is it's an entire day later. Yep, <laughs> so I got quite, well, not really distracted, but um, I had other stuff to do. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to have the base part of it is going to be 25 in total. So I'm just going to use this to mark it out. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <sighs> okay, sorry, me breathing too much. Um, and what else are we going to do? So we're going to try and put in these wheels. So I'm going to flick through some of my pictures because I'm sure I've got some really good pictures of it. Yeah, I do. Cool. Um, but the only thing, I keep on pressing that button. I don't know what that button actually is, but I have pressed it quite a few times. So it's a bit weird. But there we go. This one here, right. I think we're going to go with... Because it seems to... Uh, from looking at the picture that I've got, we've got like two groupings of these uh, type wheel things. And also from looking at... Well, looking at my other picture, I've got one, two, three, four... I have four groupings. Okay, I might actually go with the four groupings of them. Um, they seem to be made up of like four wheels each, but I don't know how much room we got, so we might do something like this. Uh, probably move that over, actually. Yeah, we're going to move that over by one on this. See, this is why I put the, the line in behind it. It allows me to figure things out. Oops, like that. Obviously, if you guys don't have wheels, um, black wool is always good. Or, I know, that, I know that a lot of other people use stuff like... Uh, coal and all that kind of stuff, that always works. Right, so can we then put in another two like this? I don't think so. No, not really. Okay. So, back to the pictures I've got. Uh, okay, this one's got a, like a bit in the middle as well. Okay. Well, right, let's grab the blue wall. And then we can figure it out, because this one's got, the, the one that I've got in the picture has got a bit in the middle. So this is going to be like about three high, so we go up to like there with this bit. And then we get the blue over the top, right? So if we have the blue here, and this is just going to be... Apparently it's a little bit smaller, apparently it's 21. But I think it needs to be the same kind of size. I don't know if that's just me. This is like the measurements I've got off Google, uh, off Google SketchUp. So I like scaled it to the size of my roads, and I've tried to make it work that way, but doesn't mean that it's always right. Now in the middle, which is confusing me now, somewhere around here isn't it? Yeah right, okay, so the middle's going to be like this bit. So on the one that I've got on my screen, it's got like a middle bit, obviously if you guys haven't got blue wall stairs, then just don't put them in. <laughs> Simple as that. As well as the slab here, because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this look less like it's touching the ground. Um, but that's about it. Right, okay, so we'll have something like that. That will, of course, be on both sides. Because that is going to be... We are going to do it too wide like that. Okay, so that's what we get. Something like that. So we need to fit our wheels into this bit. So I think the best way to do that is going to be... Uh, by squidging them... In. Well, not really squidging them in, but by grouping them somehow in this. And I definitely want them to go over to like this bit here uh, and they'd have something like this on it if we do something like that or yeah or we do something like that instead oh come on yeah 
maybe that instead. That one just works, doesn't it? And I think I do need to move that over then. If I'm going to have this as a centralised thing, because I can't really fit in uh, another set of two, unless I did them more like this. That's what we'd have like that there. Then do that. Then do that, then do that. How's that look? I think I've moved over, the whole thing moved over by one. I don't think it looked too bad. So we will move it all over by one. Um, and if you don't have, obviously you, don't, you guys are not going to have like these coloured wall things. Don't worry about it too much. Use, um, probably use stone brick. Stone brick would look pretty cool. Move one west. Right. That looks better. Okay, that looks quite a bit better. I still don't like those bits there, but um, like how I've done them. It's a bit better, isn't it? It's not. Still not great. Um, it's me messing around with stuff now to try and make it look a little bit better. It's me trying to make this. What I'm trying to do at the minute is just make this look a little bit more connected up. Um, like with the top, so how it, how it actually connects in. Um, because I've got to try and think of a way that will work. Like we would kind of like to have bits of space in it, because space does work, like gaps and things like that. It's just... Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Or we do something more like that. That looks better, actually, yeah. So something like that will do. So if you did that in stone bricks, which I'll just redo this because um, people that are trying to copy it, because I know there'll be a couple. So I've got stair that way, upside down stair that way, slab, upside down, upside down, slab, upside down, and stair that way on the side. That's all I've got. Right, let's recreate this on this side anyway. So I've got that there, we've got these two upside downs there, that there. Nope, I can't remember. I think I have to move it, don't I? Then normals, yeah, so I have to move it, move it all over. There you go, like that. Look at that one there, two upside downs, that one, that one there, two upside downs, and that one there, and then that one there. Wait a minute, that one there. <laughs> I'll get there in a second. Alright. So I'll get something like that. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty hefty. Uh, and then behind this. We just need to mirror it, which isn't too bad. And then we'll obviously we'll copy and paste it over onto that side. So I'm going to double up my wheels because I'm going really, really thick with mine. That's why I've got the two rails. I just think it needs it because it is quite a bit of a beast. There right, we go. Right, so we get those two there. Those two there, that one there. Those two there, that one there. Those two there, that one there. That one there, that one there. That one there. Slab. Slab. See for that, or do we just knock out these slabs completely? No, I think it needs it, doesn't it? It just doesn't look right without it. And the question is, did I want to put in these warning stripes? And I was thinking I did. Um, but I'm now thinking I don't. I don't think I need need to put them anywhere, which is a bit different. So there we go. There we go. Kind of pro at this now. So we get something like that. All right, that is going to be our base. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks kind of cool. So let's copy it over. So put down a, I'll put down a block or something there. There we go. And we will put down a block there. So we're on this side. God damn it. <laughs> All right, this one here. It's there. So just click. And paste. There you go. So that'll be the base. I'm hoping that's in the line as well. So it just doesn't look quite right. But it is. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to build up most of this frame. 
So we're just going to make this free high. This is going to be quite big and chunky. It's going to be two by three. And the reason I've got that over there is just so I can pull some lines in. Um, I'll probably end up mirroring the whole thing. Well, on on the base anyway, because I th well actually no, because the, the design that I'm doing has got it's quite different, so I might not be doing that too much. Right, so that's what we'll get, something like that. Um, nice and chunky. And uh, what else we've got? Right, let's grab my model up and I'll have a look at that. Right, so it's going to go up quite a lot, an extra 15 on top of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoa. Well, they are big. <laughs> it might be that we have to move this crane over uh, to the side, but we'll see. And then this is going to go across as well. I think it's quite a thick line. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it's, it's another free high one. It's a big line. So this one is about well, it's about two or three. I might try two first. Then if I need it, I'll put the three on it. So that'd go over here. Alright. Let's get over there for now. Like this. Okay. So we get something like that. That's pretty damn big, isn't it? Eek. But then again, they, these things are big. They are ginormous. So, yeah, it'll be fine. So I'm just trying to see where it'll match and then uh, build from there. So we just do this instead. Oh, what is blue? 11? Yes, 11. God, that was a bit difficult. I just couldn't remember what the actual idea of it is. So I mostly do stuff in IDs rather than in uh, anything else. Okay, so we get something like that. Let's now let's copy this entire thing. Over to the other side of it. don't know how we're really going to do this copy, but... What if we do it from here? Oops. Then we just need to do this and do that. Okay, so we get that going across there. Um, according to this one, it's got some beams as well. So if we find the middle, it's around about here. Let's go up. Might be off by one. I don't know. Do a quick count. Thirteen and thirteen. Nope, it is the middle. Cool. Right, so we're gonna have some sort of thing here, and then it's gonna go out. want that to go down to here. So it's like, do I bring it up a bit? And I think I might do, or uh, I'll do like what I've done with the other one. I'll do, yeah, I'll do this, right. So that, it's going to be in the middle still, but it's me using the stairs. If you don't have the stairs, just use your blocks and maybe double up the blocks as well. So you basically get exactly the same as what I'm doing now. So I think that would work quite nicely. Annoying this, isn't it? <laughs> but then again, this is, this is why they take quite a while. Even if even if you're doing it, you know, like these are like the only edits you really do, and the rest of it you copy and paste. Oh, the other thing I did, I put in more ships. I might show that off. Uh, probably next episode, actually, I'll show that off. Uh, but yeah, I put in more ships. A lot more, and I've tried to do an angled one down there as well. So we've got the uh, Hermes down that side. I need to change over the crates though, because they look. They're so multicolourful, like multicoloured, that it just doesn't look right. It's kind of like like these ones as well. Just look a little bit weird. Right, if we... How are we going to link this in then? Um... Uh, 
Well, that's where it needs to really be, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We are going to have to move that one up then. Move that one up to there. Make, and then just wondering what I can do to it to make it look a little bit more interesting. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that looks alright. Don't know. I'm not I'm not convinced. I'm I'm not selling it at all, but it looks alright. Yeah, so I'm actually really enjoying the series. It's really strange, isn't it? Like, um, so I was built. I ended up, yeah, started building one ages and ages and ages ago, years ago, and I've just decided kind of like to do this. And I think it's because it's quite a big industrial project, and you within like big projects like this, the big projects that don't really have a lot, like they have repeating bits. You you make so much progress so quickly. You know, like this road didn't take very long really. Um, you laid it out once and then do stack and. Uh, you might do a couple corners and you set that up and then you do, you like copy and paste it and it's very, it's quite nice to do something like this because it is just, um, it's something that looks really good. Uh, means I can put these ships in that I've had for years now, which I've always wanted to put them somewhere. That uh, means I can put them in an area. Uh, if we need some more, I can build some more if people are interested in them and it's kind of like, yeah, it's just really nice to be able to do something like that, I think. All right, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? And that, I was still thinking about having like stairs and stuff of everything. It's just bloody brilliant. That's why Mojang needs to add them really badly. Right, if I copy it from uh, this side right here, right? <laughs> and then, so that was right on the edge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right over here. So then I just need to stand here and do the old paste. And I'll just whack that above there. There you go. All right, so we've got those two. But yes, it's just really nice to do like a series like this. Right, what I think I'm going to do, rather than... Um, actually, I haven't got the picture up, actually. Um, so, with this one, I'll explain it. So, it had those two grabbers, as I showed you guys uh, not too long ago for you. Uh, and it had one that's on the lower bit. And this is actually the rail for the lower bit. So, that's why we need this to be free high, then. <laughs> See? Helping myself now. Yeah, so that's why we need that one to be free high. But that's where we're going to have our other rail. I think I'm going to try and do the mo the bigger, bigger uh, superstructure part of it first. Then we'll end up getting onto those bits. Because because we will. Um, so this will have like a groove in it. I actually quite like this join now. I really like that join. It looks cool. Um, so we'll end up doing that a bit later. We'll just keep on building up for now. Um, so I'm just going to grab... Do some... Gonna do some calculations, right? Uh, so it's actually saying it's free, what a free wide as well. Okay, so maybe, maybe we need to widen this whole thing because they've got. Right, I'm just having a look at the model. They've actually got a walkway on this, this bit here. So it's like, well, do I, do I, do I make a walkway? It does go around bits and bobs as well, but it's like, do I try and make it like free wide? I don't have to do as many like um, you know like over here. I mean, I did get it to work really, really nicely with the trapdoors. Bits of weather eye. Oh yeah, and also copied and pasted these around. Yeah, you can kind of see that it's copy and pasted in a minute. But I'm using this one as a master, and I'll then just copy and paste this entire section because by the time that you get to the end, you won't notice that it's copied. Hopefully, um, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave that bit for now anyway. But it's something to think about, definitely. Uh, actually, the other bit we need to do before we get onto that is to do the extension -y bit. So that's 30 odd blocks. Wow. That's ginormous. So this actually goes back apparently 30 blocks, which is huge. It's actually really huge. That's going to go way over. So it's whether we need to. I think we need to widen this road then to like a four lane and then push everything else back. We'll do that in a, in a bit, I think. There we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See, that's already going over. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, see, that's already gone way over just at twenty. So, twenty-one. There we go. Put it up to twenty-one. Okay, so we might have to adjust our 
I think. I was thinking about it anyway. Um, after, after I extended that back bit. I was thinking about making these bigger roads seven wide. Because they do look a little bit better for, for this type of build. So there we go. That's just 21. It's not big enough, is it? It's not big enough. I, God, this is going to take... Oh, it's not going to take ages to copy and paste it. It's going to be a big copy and paste. I'm going to have to fix down here as well. Ooh, see? Note to people that are watching this, make sure that you build your cranes first. Also, this is where I've got an angled thing. I've been trying it out. I'll show that off in another video, I think. And how I've done it, and I don't like it, actually. I'm not too keen on it, but... I needed to do one. Right, so yeah. Okay, so that's going to be quite quite big. It might be that this crane is just damn too too big for this, this place, but... It might not as well. Um, right. So if we got that going out, obviously that would be a lot more than what we've done. But uh, right, if we continue this this pole thing up, it actually gets thinner as well. And it's 22 high. And this thing is saying that it is oh, zero meters wide. That's good, isn't it? No, I say it's about three. There's still three blocks then. Three by two, actually. Well, three wide. It's a three going across this way, weirdly. Something we haven't done, but uh, do two by two. What was it? Twenty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay. Just something like that. This one I realised. You know, I can use that. <laughs> right. Okay. So if we have that there. We, it's annoying that I didn't actually get it all. Just copy this. There we go. So we get that there. We then get. Uh, it doesn't join across the same way. On the next bit. So did I go all the way? Yes, yeah, so I went all the way up to the. You cannot see. That's 22 high. So minus two of those, there's a beam going across. Let's go one, two, and I'm going to just have a beam. I'm actually going to do this on the inside just so it makes it look a little bit more. It's got more depth. Like that. So we get that, and then we get another, there's another cross section as well, which goes from this bit going this way now. So it's a mirror of this. Right, so can we? Maybe clever. Can we do some sort of copy and paste job on this? Hopefully. So what do we need to do? I need to be stood. How am I going to copy and paste it? So if I copy and paste it and put it up, then I need to flip it upside down. Am I going to be able to do that? I'm sure I can do that. So we do flip. Or well, if you do right, or well, you can flip it onto that side. Can I do flip up? How do you flip up? What does it do to your position? Because I know that when you do, say if I was going to, um, obviously you've got rotate, which will do it on your position. Uh, when you do flip, say if you've got half a vehicle, you can then copy that half and then stand right in the middle and you can do flip and then paste it there. Uh, I actually don't know if I can flip this up the way that I want to flip it. So I might, yeah, I'll just end up doing it manually instead because otherwise, oh, what the hell? All oh, right, that's why. I was thinking, what the hell's going on? Right, so we've got a two three here. Like that. And then we got the stairs going off of third one. Right, okay. Cool. Oh yeah, so we got stairs there. See if this works its way out. Lots and lots of flipping here. I might just end up doing something like this. And coming in later on just to try and make it a little bit faster. Yeah, this will be fine. Like that, and then these as well. Well, I 
to that, these. Oh yeah, well, I, no, I can. Oh, I, I couldn't figure out how to flip it, could I? I can't remember. I'm just getting mesmerised now. This does happen when you're building big. <laughs> I do it when I'm doing shit on live. I've got to remember that I'm actually am recording as well. It's usually when I'm just building something like this, I'll be, you know, like alone or whatever, watching TV uh, on one like Netflix or something while while actually building. Best way to do it, but you know, not. Entertaining though, is it? So, so I gotta remember, right? There we go. Got the sun. Ah, God damn you, shaders and your beautiful sun. Uh, there we go. All right, and these ones will be really easy now. <laughs> Probably should have done it the other way round. There we go. All right, okay. What's that look like? That's kind of interesting, doesn't it? Looks a bit weird. <laughs> So it just looks like really elongated. This like middle bit. It's almost like I need to do something with it. I don't know. I don't know what I need to do with it. Right, so we've got that going up there. Um, this one apparently looks like it's, it's going inwards. So we might keep it straight for now. See what we do with that. Uh, right, from top bit. So all they've got is a different colour to actually do this. So do I use... Let's have a look at my pictures. So I'm going to have a look at my GTA pictures and see what they've got. Oh, okay. GTA pictures are not, apparently. Allow me to cycle through now, they are. Right. So they've not gone for different colours, they've just gone for your blues. So we'll try that. Maybe we'll do a different blue. Uh, yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? You'd do it in a different blue, so we'll use like cyan or something. Um, well, that'll be fine. So that then gets joined across. So we do need to do a big copy in a bit, but we'll do that in a second. So across here. What we end up getting. Let me have a look at this ruler. So we're using it to get a good rough mark on it. So I've got three high again. Uh, it's actually four in total, but three of it goes across. So I'll have a look at that. So we go one, one, two, three, four. And then these ones go all the way across here. And I'll see if it's on the same on the other side. I think it is the same on the other side as well. Yeah, it's the same on the other side, but without the uh Tiny little bit at the top. This bit, this bit at the back is slightly different than the bit at the front. Right. Let's go. Let's get to there, and that needs to be one higher as well. Like that. And what else do we need to do? On the other side as well. So this one just goes one, two, three, and then that's it. This this, this just goes across. It's like a straight box. Okay. 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 Right, so we get that. So let's uh, copy and paste it, flip it, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, no, we've not got that. We've not really copied and pasted that side either to flip it over. But it's fine. Right, so if we go for this, if we go for here, copy it all. So if we do uh, flip, and the good thing is you can copy and flip from anywhere. So if I do, like, for example, if I go right to the middle of this build, because um, this is my copy point, so you do copy. And I can do flip to my left. And what that'll do is nothing, apparently. Oh, yeah, I need to do paste as well. Uh, duh. Right, okay. And you also do paste at <laughs> that same point. Uh, and I need to undo because I've copied the air. So I need to do paste minus A, which minus A is minus the air. So paste minus A. Is there. And then that will flip. That's what I was talking about with the flip command. It's really useful. Really, really useful. This thing is huge. 
but they are huge. I really like the wheels already. Right, so this is what we've got so far. Um, there's then on the back part of it, there's a white boxy thing going over and stuff like that. And we'll kind of build that four. Yeah, four over on that bit. So it's four high. And there's like two. So I'll do that as well. Might do this one out of light blue. Let's try and mix the colours up. So we go one, two, three, four. It's just these two that go across. There we go. Place your blocks absolutely everywhere like I am. And you have to mop up afterwards. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's what we get for that. That kind of connecty bitty in there, okay. Right, see, I want to move all these over now. Next, I think. Um, the entire thing. So I might do that quickly. So I might jump over to, yeah, let's jump over to MC Edit. And we'll get onto that. Okay, so here we are in MC Edit and it's loading up. Um, while I'm here as well, I might as well show you the extra layout. So I've got this bit going across here. We know the angle bit. I've started to angle this. Well, I say I've started to angle this. I've angled this ship. I don't like the look of it. It just looks elongated. Uh, I've also shoved over and put a straight bit in here where I've got the Prometheus sat. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do over on this side. Whether I do like a, a gentle angle or if I just bring this across straight for now so that we have a really, really straight bit and then we have this kind of like, uh, I don't know, either end or God knows, you know, make it really straight. We could have it really straight or we could. Um, Actually, no, I think because of the lane now. Yeah, we're going to have to like maybe bring it up to here, then just angle it across, and then we'll just leave it, and it'll just uh, be the end of it, and this will just kind of get blocked off or something. I don't know. Right. So one of the things I've had to do before, um, getting to you guys, is because of the mod blocks, everything just looks pink. Um, so that's not very useful to us. So I've had to put in a couple blocks to, to kind of help us. Uh, so this is at the, like, the edge of the road, so I've used the yellow here for the yellow lines. I've then put in some grey one, I've put in a white bit, and I've got some more yellow here, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's basically just to to help us, really. And here we go, so I'm going to go all the way over to... Well, I have to go all the way over to this side, really. It doesn't matter that I'm copying over dirt, that's fine. Grab that, it's going to be a pretty big, pretty big move. I have to move, yeah, I'm going to have to move that as well, so I'm going to have to grab this dirt. <clears throat> and my voice is starting to go already. I might end up doing this as a two, two episode, I think, because of the because of the enormity of it. It is just huge. I'm going to end up moving this block that I've put in as well, but that's fine. Doesn't matter too much. There we go, so copy over to there. Don't know if there's anything else, have I missed anything? Now let's capture everything. If I can tell. Um, yep, that captures all of that bit, that captures all that bit. Right, so we've got this yellow line here. Uh, so the yellow line itself is not going to move. But what we're going to do is we're going to have this bit here. We're going to have an extra two blocks, so we go one. Wow. <laughs> this is really big. It's a really big move. Mm, is it going to die? I hope it's not going to die. The problem with recording with MC Edit as well, I have noticed it does sometimes lag and die. If it dies, it could corrupt it, which is really bad. It didn't. What did it do, though? I don't think it did anything. Still got one, two, three, four, five. Right. Tried it again. I tried it with two hits this time. Okay, recording undo. Yep. Very good. This is where MC Edit is very good, but at the same time, I think part of it is because of the mod blocks. I, d I don't think it likes them. Okay, maybe it has been moving it across. I don't know.
Yeah, see, it has moved them. So it has moved over by two. Even by three blocks. That looks like three blocks to me. Just doesn't look like it down here. Why is that? So I was expecting to see a big yeah, block. No, 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 no. Has moved them. Yeah, so that's moved over by two. That's good. Doesn't look like it, but it has. So that's good. Right, so we've then got. So the idea being that you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we've had to move that over by two, which I don't know if this has actually worked or not. That's fine. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to play around with this for ages, move it all over, and then I might do an episode or part two of this. Um, just because the video is going on like for an hour. Um, so there'll be a part two as the next episode, otherwise I won't have an episode for ages, which wouldn't be very good. So we'll have a look at this. I'm gonna Because I'm going to be jumping in and out of empty edit, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, see, look, like this hasn't moved. Doesn't look like it's moved to me. But it has. It's moved over by two. So it's very strange. <laughs> very, very strange. Let's have a look. Chunk view. Deselect and everything. So it doesn't... It's either that or I've set the floor or something. I don't know. I'll have a look quickly and um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll start doing this off camera and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys in the next episode. Catch up on where I've moved it. I'll do the road part of it and extend it or whatever and then we'll see how it goes. So uh, see you in a bit guys.